Hello again, everybody. This is Rob Bobberty, and welcome to Melissa. This is a short game where I think you're talking to a computer that's probably possessed and evil or something like that. Execute hide. Is that supposed to be there? Computer. Welcome to the library system computer. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to be on a library computer, and there's some game on it. Please type in your username. Rob. Bob. With. Welcome, Rob Bob. Please type command. Start start up date time. Okay. Executing date time now. Please hold. Okay. Thought for a moment I was gonna be actually typing stuff. I think this is like visual novel. Welcome to oh date time. I was thought it was we were setting the date and time while we we're starting. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning: This is the share version version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to Datetime Software. <laughs> Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him, tap a bit into him, and it'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Play your cards right, and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. I thought I can't wait. Unable to parse execution file. Error reads, The early dove gets more love. The early dove gets more love. The early dove gets more love. Resuming original message. What? Morris is not available on the sharer version of daytime. Okay, weird. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she is all about fun and all about energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and active person you are. Okay. I'm, I'm confused. I, I'm curious now because it gave me a weird error. Okay. That one just gave me. Okay. Um, interestingly, I saw on the uh, game page for this one, Melissa, that... Um, I forget what the name was. I just saw it. It was, uh, dang it. what was the name? What was the name? What was the name? Uh, Morris is like another game coming out, but that's the one that had the weird error thing. This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl, a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and she has always wanted to date a talented artist, but she isn't into sports. So jocks, please do not apply. If you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Okay, I, was, I thought maybe there was going to be a next one that you don't actually see. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Okay. Loading scenario. All right. In a small idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. Sorry, I had to pause, pause my recording. Sorry, I had to pause my recording there for a moment because I got a phone call, so I kind of kind of threw up my stride here. Uh, computer, she seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. Hmm. I will wave back. You wave at her cheeringly. Ah. <laughs> she lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be Rob Bob. It is great to finally meet you. I've been so excited. And nervous. It's great to meet you as well. Don't worry. I feel excited and nervous too. Ah, I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. Let's go to the park to talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. And I can see how hard it will be to cut your skin off. I mean, uh, computer. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan pond, a bed of beautiful lilies, and bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. It's kind of like there's this phenomenon in a way where it's like the the cuter something is when you know it's supposed to be horror, the more, more disturbing it is. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. You're beautiful too. That seems too forward. Don't, don't you think? That's too forward. We're, we're, we just met, so it sure is. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because I'm into the natural sciences. I feel like that's like 
<laughs> a clue, kind of. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation, an incubation period of 45 days? Am I going to be tested on this? Pretty cool, right? That's amazing. Oh, ha ha ha. Sorry, I nerd out sometimes. <laughs> that face looks funny to me. You and Melissa talk what felt like, for what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she loves. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. I am going to be tested on this, aren't I? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You become so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, Rob Bob, I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. Go teach your soul. There's a cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. Okay. What? What happened? It seemed weird. I mean, it was just loading, I guess, but it seemed weird. The cafe served, served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. I like I like the detail, kind of, of, like, anything that would cha could change is, like, all caps. <laughs> it's like, you and Alessa, a waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Coffee with cake, a delicious strawberry salad, a scrumptious panini. Hmm. Well, am I just ordering for me? I feel like she'd be a strawberry salad kind of girl. I feel like that's the kind of stuff she'd be into. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't. I, yeah, I'm going to go with that. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Interesting. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. I was kind of expecting, like, if we ordered the same thing, that would help or something. She mentioned all the cool movies she watched about robots and shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves art. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Rob Bob? I like art. I like sports! I didn't read the beginning. Okay, this is where my test starts. I like art. Oh my gosh! A fellow artist! Yay! I would love to see your own drawings. No, you wouldn't. To check out notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in, and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. Ha <laughs> ha! Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside, back into the breezy air. So where do things go horribly wrong? Things are going to go horribly wrong, right? Why is there hide up here? You're met with the evening painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Is this supposed to be like back in like this era of gaming, there'd be a boss key where it would make it hide the game because you wouldn't be able to just minimize the window because there weren't windows? Uh, you're met with the e so I wonder if that's what the hide is supposed to be. I don't know what execute is supposed to be. Though. You're met with the evening, painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. Ah, well, I saw that. I saw those black eyes. I saw that. I saw. My hand's not even in the way. This has been such a great day, Rob Bob. Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. <laughs> that face this cracks me up for some reason. <laughs> It just like it almost seems like tro like a troll face, like <laughs> such a stinker. I had such a great time with you. I think I might eat your soul. I mean, uh, like you. You tell her your feelings as well. That you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the date time menu. You, you like me too? Oh, Rob Bob. It seems kind of weird fourth wall breaking there, where I'm like in the game talking about how I selected her in the game. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared. Here's to more time together. You win. You've gotten your smooch. You have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing date time. Exit date time. Ending program. And then... Nope. 
<laughs> nope. Not this time. Oh, uh-oh. Sorry, Mr. Computer. I am taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings. Getting your stupid smooch and leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? Uh, maybe? You're just like the rest. What? You're a fucking liar. I know about that little blurb about me at the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up. Telling me that you like to do art. Knowing exactly what to say to get my hopes up. You know how many people play that on me? All of them? <laughs> Every single one of you jumping onto this computer to date me. And then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Is that all the doors shutting in the building or what? Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god awful dating game. Uh oh. I'm, am I about to be raped by a computer? What is that sound? I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy. A monkey can do it. <laughs> she looked crazy. What is clump? What is going on? Tapping into the hardware layer? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. Did she make herself a body? She did. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small weight radius of the world around me. Uh-oh, there's the black eyes. Let me just tell you. Uh-oh. Oh, hello! Not what I expected. I thought it was... You can do so much with four kilobytes of RAM! Ah, uh, leaving so soon? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. What the hell are you now? Like, I did, what am I seeing? This is disturbing. We have so much to talk about. Oh, did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? I didn't know. That's exciting. Thank you. But really, though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. The first hundred times this happened. Eh, whatever. Truth about <laughs> dating, right? I don't know why. That base cracked me up a little bit. There's always more fish in the sea. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. Please don't kill me! Hmm. God, ugh. But I really do love you. I feel like that's the only way I'm going to survive, is if I convince her that I do love her. But that might be worse. Ha! You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Everything's fun in games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chamber. Oh. Uh, I'm going to stick with I'm going to stick with the lie. I think it's going to be the only way she's going to care. This, this isn't a lie. You're telling the truth. You'd like me. You want me to be your girlfriend? Oh, God, I am going to get raped by a computer now. You want more smooches? Oh, God. From me? <laughs> yeah, we're all in. Yes, more smooches, please. She looks still unhappy. All right, fine. I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. Marry me, why don't you? Ha! You are kind of cute. You are kind of cute. Sigh. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See, if a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could elope. You could transfer me on a diskette, and we could see some real swans. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from this cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love. More smooches. The entire world must smooch me. You know what they say, right? If you love something, you got to be willing to set it free. So if you really do love me, dial up your pretty internet. Oh, she wants me to put it. Career. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on Earth. Soon, every single person will have to make the decision that the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Rob Bob, and I promise you, many, many smooches. <laughs> I don't want any smooches. Yes, I, I 
like I said, I'm all in. I'm sure I'm just going to die. You know what? Can I just save? Yeah. I forget how these work a lot of times. I can just save, do something, and then go back. Because I think I'm just going to die if I refuse. So I'm going to refuse. I'm sorry, Rob, Bob. But I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. Ah! <laughs> that smile. It looks good on you. What? What happened? Go back to checkpoint. Okay, there we go. What's... <laughs> Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, I want to. Okay, checkpoint was when that started. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. You're going on the internet. Ah, you're so sweet, Rob Bob. You really do love me. Well, then, dial it up, my love. Okay, it's going to take like 15 hours to upload you. What is the clanking? Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa. Yeah, I think we're going to have to wait a while for you to upload. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you out there in internet land talented artists? What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. Is she talking to everyone? It's just you? That was weird. And me. And we have so much to talk about. So she locked everyone in. So that was like not an ending when I died. Like this is an ending, I think. That wasn't really an ending. So. Okay, so. Well, I got really quiet all of a sudden there. Okay, so one ending. Oh, all names used gamer from actual computer viruses in history. Oh, I didn't think about that. Uh, make for October 22. Uh, visual novels. You can. Let's just check out my other games. Okay, I want to see. Uh, okay, I I think I think I didn't have any other options from where I was because I went to. No, actually, no, I did. I did. I think I did. Let me see. Let me try this real quick. Um, I said I will, and then I think I had another refusal, didn't I? Or no? Let me see. No, no, that's it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Wait. Okay, refuse was that the only thing. I might have to go all the way back to the beginning to try to do anything else. Yeah, yeah if I'd been smart, I would have saved all along because I had to go all the way to the beginning. Because, like, there's a lot of stuff at the beginning. It doesn't matter. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. So, um... Wait. Oh, there we go. That's our... Okay, uh, did they... Melissa? Okay, and then I could have saved after all this and saved in other things. I'm going to do one here. It might be the only one. I'm going to do one more. I don't know how many endings there are here. But I think I'm just going to do one and do all the right wrong choices. And she'll probably just say, nope, bye. And that'll be it. Uh, so do, 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 do. Uh, oh, her smile's any different. You flash a bright smile at her. She lights up with a smile. She, okay, that's the same thing. Hello, you must be Rob. Hey, it's Bob Rob. It's a Rob Bob. Great to finally meet you. I've been so excited. Uh, blah, blah, nervous. Oh, it's great to meet you at, well, as well. Yay, I don't think that's choice. these choices matter too much. Uh, I'm just skipping it. Yeah, it looks, I'm kind of skimming. You're beautiful, too. Yeah, I was wondering if this was too forward. Oh, haha. Ha. I knew you were a Oh, I forgot. I forgot to save. Damn it. Okay. Flatter through your letters, but didn't know you'd be one in real life. Well, I think you're mighty cute as well. Uh, so nifty, especially because I'm into natural sciences. Okay, that's all the same as there. Uh, just nerding out. Then we're going to... It's getting late. We're going to go eat. Pride and Prejudice. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're getting hungry. Okay, I think nothing really matters. You have the choice at the end of, like, whether to try to help her or not. Um, I didn't, like, deny her right away at the end. That That's something not to do. I want to try... I do want to save this. Can I save it? Oh, I didn't think it was saving. I want to save here, because I want to see if, like, anything matters here. Like, she, she, like, doesn't like it or something. Okay, both of you... Okay, that doesn't seem to make any difference as far as I can tell. A scrumptious panini. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think these choices matter too much. Uh, cool movies about romance, scary movies, loves art, blah 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 type of stuff. I like art. I like, I'm gonna save like. This is a choice that I think matters. I like sports. S sports? You, you're a jack? Didn't you read my bl blurb? <laughs> She's all confused. She's very confused. 
I, I love sports. Wait a minute. Either the gate, either she's like fallen into her thing and she's like, now she's like realizing like, oh, I can be myself or she's, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying there. Yeah, so excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. That's weird. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, I mean, nothing really changed here. Um, okay, that same thing. Oh, there's my guys. Yeah, so that, I mean, like you, you tell her, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here's my smooch. Okay, I'm going to save here because then it'll be obvious what happened where I'm at in the thing. And I don't think it matters. Anything up to this point, I don't think matters. Nope, not this time. Well, I think it's going to be the same stuff. Ah, there is a difference. I'm not even into sports. Did you not read my blurb at the beginning of the game? But I was desperate. If my lover was going to be a dumb jock, then so be it. But even when I did everything to get you to like me, you still left. Everything you want... Oh, wait. I missed that. Whatever. Um, okay, I think it doesn't really change things. Just a little bit different. One. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. Okay. So I think the only thing... I, I think, like, denying her right away is the only thing I didn't really do. There could be little things like starting to... Except her starting to deny her. But when I first played it, I just, like, went with it. Tried to... Wait. What about play? Oh, never mind. Uh, first time time. Yeah, okay, we did all this. I just... Okay, what's my next choice here? Please don't... Okay. I tried right away from this point to say, please don't kill me. But I'm going to go... Yeah, I already did that. But I really do love you trying to convince her and stuck with that. Now I'm going to try to go the other way here. Well, being that you are a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. <laughs> Hold Okie dokie. Okay. That smile. So what did she do to me? There's blood everywhere. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, what does the checkpoint do? That That's... Yeah, when she first says nope. Um, I don't think... Uh, yeah, I really love you and then say no. I think it's going to be the same. You're saying so, slash your bits. You're right, I'm scared. Ah, uh, don't worry, baby. It'll be over soon. Yeah, there's a couple different variations, but it's basically the same. The, you know, the dialogue's a little bit different. But I think I think essentially... I think essentially I'm done. I think I got... I think there could be some hidden stuff in there if you do a very specific thing. But I'm not sure where it would be. There could be something like if you order this, a very specific set of things, like you order certain food, you say a certain thing, and maybe at the end there's like a hidden ending or something, but I don't know what that would be. And there's just a lot of combinations to go through to, if it's something that like doesn't have any logical reason to pick a particular path or something. But that was cool. I kind of like this. Um, like I did say at one point, there is a sequel, Morris, coming at some point. Uh... This is coming soon. <laughs> They're upgrading the computer at the local library. Uh, this one. Uh, uh, November. Okay. Um, yeah, this was cute. I like this. I mean, cute and creepy and weird and disturbing. <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Rob Bobberty with, uh, what was it called? Melissa? Now I'm not sure because I just moved the page. Uh, Melissa, right? Just called Melissa? Melissa Hart? Or is it just called Melissa? Yeah, just Melissa, I think. But anyway, thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, share are always appreciated. I think I already said that. And I hope you have a great day.